Hello, my name is Bill and welcome to Behind Your Crypto. This altcoin can potentially pump a lot. Before we begin, do not forget to join our monthly subscription, Patreon slash Mind Your Crypto. The third tier has two spots left. Ten people will be the limit and scalping every day it is. The other tires have, of course, many, many spots left, so join us. Thank you for watching, have a fantastic day. Let's start with DAS against USDT chart. Right here, DAS has been going up and up and up. Nothing special though, but from this bottom right here, it has been going of around 65%. So this is a huge pump, right? Eventually we want to see if DAS can manage to pull it through and to start something more impulsive on the daily frame. That means we are riding the 20 day and the 50 day MA and whenever we are beyond the 50 day MA, it will be a buying opportunity so we can go even, even higher. Let's find the most important targets, what we need to do and to see the technical analysis, risk metrics and stuff like that. So what we are going to do now, it is that we are going to start with a 200 moving average. 20 day MA is crossing up 200 moving average. 50 day MA is going to do it as well. Probably the case is that we are having two crossing above conditions. Now, if this happens, be certain that DAS will move all the way up higher into the next targets. Right now in the weekly scale, DAS had a below of 30s. Actually, we have, we have a higher low pattern, which is a bullish RSA divergence coming in from this low right here towards the low that we had back on 7 November. And you can see that the DAS reacted to this higher low pattern and we have, for the time being, a nice buying pressure. But we want to see more, right? We want to see eventually if we are going to have something like that. In order for DAS to have an impulsive wave on the weekly frame, we have to make one simple move. We have to close above the, the 58.62 USDT. Now you will tell me, Bill, is it possible that DAS can manage to pull it off to 58. Yes, it is. We can have a pump for like 20% or more. I think that DAS is going to pump more. We need to see what Bitcoin is going to do though, because you can see that we are having some constant bearish or say divergences, which the case is that we are going to have a correction pretty soon enough. But other than that, if Bitcoin can manage to maintain the 17.4K that we were talking about in the previous updates, 17. 4K, 17,400 is very, very huge for the uh, Bitcoin and we need to maintain above in order to get even, even higher. Now for DAS against USDT chart right here, what we need to do, it is simply to have this crossing above conditions, this crossing, okay, to have the 20 DMA crossing above the 200 moving average and the 50 DMA the same. So we can go into an impulsive wave in the daily frame and we can go potentially even, even higher. For the time being, we have to see what Bitcoin is going to do. If Bitcoin remains bullish, then DAS is going to explode towards the 58.62 in which it will find a very huge important resistance level. You can see this line right here. But if you want something better, let's say, for example, you are looking for something that maybe we are going to have some more short-term targets. I'm going to draw the trend base Fibonacci extension from the bottom to the top and back to the bottom. At this time that I'm having the targets, please do not forget to join our monthly subscription, Patreon slash Manual Crypto. Third tier has two spots left. Anyway, let's go back to DAS against USDT chart. Right here, you can see that we can go even, even higher to 59. Okay, potentially where we talked before, 58, 59, around there. For the time being, it is good that we closed above the 46.42 in, no, in the logarithmic scale. In the non-logarithmic scale, we have one major resistance level, the 50.62. Now, closing above in the weekly scale will get us all the way for sure towards the 59.99, let alone be in the daily frame. I think that even if we close above in the daily frame, it will be enough to tell us that, oh, okay, you know what? I am going all the way up to a 20% profit target. I am going towards this target right here between the 58 and the 59 to 60 USDT. So this whole area is the next important resistance level for DAS. I think that DAS can easily explode. We just need these crossing conditions 
and of course the 50.68 we need to be capable of going above right now we are finding some resistances we are having a little bit of a high risk with dust but in other words i think that dust can be ready to explode and go even higher and this is what i hope for dust um eventually i hope that these bullish RSA divergence will work out and we are going to see something more impulsive in the weekly scale. Do not forget to join our monthly. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic day and see you soon with many, many more videos. Bye.